and then Republican State Senator Doug Mastriano. So Mastriano's like one of those guys you're not allowed to talk about or like because like he is absolutely beyond the pale somehow, sort of like Carrie Lake was. You can't mention their names or something. Maybe that's because he's actually pretty impressive. He served for three decades in the U.S. Army. He may be able to flip the state of Pennsylvania politically, and we are honored to have him join us now. Mr. Mastriano, thank you so much for coming on. It's just interesting. You were, they identified you early as someone who was a threat and tried to make you completely unacceptable even to talk about. You must have been, after 30 years in uniform, were you surprised to see this? I actually was. You thought you'd maybe you know, the establishment would welcome a, a current soldier. You know, 30 years in the Army, from the Cold War to Desert Storms, to Afghanistan, multiple tours, and, you know, and, and loving our country. And instead of riding off to the sunset for a comfortable retirement, I, I couldn't do it, Tucker, because the country really is flailing. And so, stepped into the arena. Uh, you know, all the experts out there and all the polling places said there was no way I could win the primary in Pennsylvania, that, that yeah. I'd cap out at 20-some percent in one of the most contentious primaries in Pennsylvania's history, since 1978 at least. Uh, you know, we won with almost half the vote there with a mandate, and our movement is huge. We're going to take back the state, and it's very important. It's just not another gubernatorial race. I mean, I, I believe the future of the nation is hinged upon the outcome in Pennsylvania at the governor level because not just because of our history as the birthplace of our nation, but also we're sitting on what I call freedom gas and oil and coal. So on day one, we're going to drill and dig like never before and hopefully lead our nation out of this economic malaise that we're in. And you're running against such a cookie-cutter hack who's just like every single <laughs> other person in charge. I mean, how could, I mean, is there anyone in Pennsylvania who thinks this is going great, I just want a little more of this? <laughs> I, we're not safer. He's been the attorney general for six years, you know, and yeah. John Adams, our second president, said facts are stubborn things. On my opponent's watch as the attorney general, crime has gone up nearly 40 percent. Homicides are record levels in Philadelphia on track for 600 this year. A thousand carjackings, 4,000 uh, robberies. I mean, it's insane. And, and the entire state is watching it collapse. Fentanyl, fourth worst in the nation. You yeah. know, 12 to 15 Pennsylvanians dying. Uh, every day. And it's ironic, Tucker, just a couple days ago, my opponent tweeted out, we need to do something about crime. I'm like, dude, where you been the past six years? So he is too <laughs> radical for our state. I know. <laughs> I mean, he's literally the chief law enforcement officer of a state that's falling apart because of crime and drugs. Like, maybe he should have to answer some questions. Doug Mastrano, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you very much. Don't seem radical to me. Thanks for having me on. God bless you. <laughs>